guys, Zombie Wars SMT here, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's theory video. And basically, today's theory video, I want to discuss something of how the Purple Man burned down the place or Spring Trap, I should say. So, if you watched tonight Five mini game for Five Nights at Freddy's Three, uh, it seemed normal first. You know, the dead children, the ghost of the children he kills, scares the ever living crap out of him and forces him to jump in the suit. But the question still remains. Why is he in that building in the first place? Why is he there? Why, like, why is he in the building? Well, here's my theory about this. Although I can't explain exactly why Bonnie is bullying this mini game, could possibly Purple Man have burned down the Five Nights at Freddy's one building? Because if you look at this picture here that was actually sent to me on Twitter by a uh, user, Xander Tanigawa, I don't know if that's how to pronounce her name, but they actually had sent me an image highlighting that he is holding a lighter. Not to mention, if you look around the place, guys, you'll actually clearly see that there is oil on the ground. I don't know why everyone ignored, ignored this. I guess they assumed it was water, but water is a more of a blue color, not a black color or a clear color, I should say. But no, it's straight up black, like oil would. And as you all know, oil is flammable you can light oil up and this isn't the only place it's in in this building it's all over the building as if he planned to burn down the entire building he planned on destroying the animatronics so that they cannot be recovered and then and then he burns down the building but what if his ultimate goal was to burn down this building and the dead children stop him midst of his act or possibly maybe he did get away with his axe Maybe that's why the Phantom animatronics in Five Nights at Freddy's 3 look like they have been burned. Perhaps maybe this Purple Man slash Springtrap burned down the Fazbear Horror Attraction as well. This might explain why you see him at the end of the game. That's why when you bright out the picture of the newspaper, you'll see Springtrap. Because he burned it down. He planned to live. He planned to destroy the Fazbear Horror Place. Because he wants to destroy the company and not have the name Fazbear Hurt again. Maybe he failed to burn down the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 building. And maybe the Phantom animatronics are the hallucinations of what he visioned. What he wanted to happen. And that's exactly why these hallucinations only appear when they bring Springtrap into the horror attraction. And when he's not present, they're not there. They are nowhere to be seen. No hallucinations whatsoever. But... That's my little interesting theory, guys. I think that the Purple Man burned down either the Five Minutes Freddy's 1 building, and I definitely do think he did burn down the Five Minutes Freddy's 3 building. Um, but like I said, the, he could have not burned down the Five Minutes Freddy's 1 building, and he was stopped before he could by the dead children that didn't want him to burn down the, the place. And then the phantoms we see aren't actually the animatronic spirits, but rather the pretty much caused by Springtrap or Purple Man. This creature is I guess you can say a demonic <laughs> creature it's it's someone who wants to kill children and basically that's all there is to it he's not really the nicest guy you want to be with a pedophile and a murderer but you know I'm gonna end the theory of video here guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button I'll see you all next time peace out